So we got this uh, Rital top term in Asia, and it's been giving me some problems with the uh, overloading. You can see here on the display, OL stands for overloading, and it wants to go down to 17 degrees, even though I set the set point to, to like 30, uh, 25 or something. Also here we have turned it off and uh, restarted, and we got some other uh, fault codes. So it's uh, for you guys who don't know it, it's uh, located on top of a of an, uh, cupboard for electronics and it's supposed to cool it down. So here I am uh, so testing it out, it connecting the, the mains here and uh, we have dismantled it so it's on the floor and uh, <coughs> here, we, here it starts up. And the two fans there doesn't start. As you can see, they they are not moving. So I guess they're supposed to move. It's uh, condenser fans. But uh, let's see. Why doesn't they move? Is there some startup time waiting for? It says the temperature, I guess that is the temperature on the underside. So you can feel the, yeah, the temperature. Uh, air coming here. So anyway, uh, this is the, the compressor. It's a C-Cop. Uh, it used to be a Danfoss before. But C-Cop has, has, has bought them up, I, get, I believe. And uh, yeah, I'm just... Uh, checking out trying to find what is not working this is hot yeah hot, this hot, is hot. hot too hot too hot it's not being cooled down these two fans don't work however the compressor is running you can hear it in the video and you feel it so and since it is cooling down a bit before overloading it is of course working. This is hot. Yeah, this is also hot. hot, hot. hot. It's uh, you got a temperature down there. Yeah. I don't know if you can see the temperature in the display. Uh, I believe you so could why in the earlier the fan go? In the earlier versions. But these are now get eighteen. Yeah, it's going down to the about seventeen degrees now. This is the the model number SK3385500. So it's the condenser there. And uh, these are the, the startup condenser is C2. And the running capacitor, I believe, is the, the silver one for the compressor. The other fans have a sort of a inbuilt uh, capacitors or, or other types perhaps pole shade and motor. This is the filter dryer I believe. I, d I don't know this kind of stuff. I'm just trying to learn. So please comment and help. This fan runs on 230 so the idea is to uh, connect uh, 230 uh, voltage directly to them. Be extremely careful doing this. I'm sort of an ele electrician so I so I do know what I'm doing. I've now connected it. 230. So the fans are moving. I'm, I'm going beside the controller car. And now it's going uh, even colder than before. Here I'm trying to see the set point. The set temperature is on 30. 30 degrees. Why does it go down set, to so Why does it go down to... 12. If you want to change the set point, you use uh, 22. Code is 22. And then you can, can change it. This. So it's I'm just showing it for you. Temperature. Doesn't know it. I didn't know this. I had to look it up in the manual. But it doesn't follow it. it doesn't set. follow it. No. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> Why? get acknowledged 
There we have the acknowledge. So, so it took this is not so hot now. Point, 28. This is getting colder. Definitely, it gets cold here. Getting even colder. Stout which blows down in the in the top down with 11. Let's keep cold. So 11 is the maximum, I believe, at that. So let's remove this one. And I do not know if it might not be able to go lower. Some physical stop. Stop stop. Yeah, so I'm basically just uh, wanna show you. I, I believe there must be other who has the same problems and motor. How did you find the fault, you or uh, what did you do? This unit is about five years old now. And it's really cool it down here. Should last a bit longer since they are pretty expensive. The compressor is working. Yes. You feel it working. And all other parts, except the controller and the one who starts the fan. This is the, the controller board down there. You can pull it up. Check that fuse down there. And we have okay. some connections for the fans, the different fans. That's where I'm, I'm connecting myself, the 230. Now it's getting really hot here. Yeah, the fans aren't connected now, so of course it gets it's going up. Hotter. And the temperature is going up. It's 12 down there. Okay, 12 the display. Now. 13. Rising. Going up. Can't keep the cold. So it's rising. Still rising. Since the fans Turn aren't the fan on again. connected. Now connecting the fans, the two fans, the condenser fans. Straight. The 230 AC. And, uh, they're a bit hesitant to start, but they start for up to a couple of seconds. Because they need to show you what the capacitor they have inside. Or and anyway, I I do know that these fa these um, motors are probably not AC uh, induction engines. These have found some permanent magnets inside them. I've done another video showing where I'm putting. I'm um, checking out the ball bearings in these fans, so at least they're ball bearings, meaning ball five seconds, you can get pretty nice fans. Want to be a value, 28 as I put in earlier, so why does it go to 17? Yeah, that's a big question. And now uh, this fan must be the, the card, the controller card. Some relay Start perhaps off. not starting the fans. Yeah, still getting cold there, but not working. Now it started again. You can hear it. Yeah. Getting cold here. Probably some eco mode and down it goes down. Yeah. This is uh, showing the way the, the air is circulating. It's pulling through the condenser from these two fans. And here we have the evaporator fan. It's also an EBM Pabst. Here. Circular movement. Yeah, the diagnosis on this uh, AC top term fan is that it's, uh, so this card doesn't uh, turn on the fans, doesn't regulate the temperature, probably some relay or something. So I decided to save the fans. I'm doing a video about it, changing uh, or taking a look at the ball bearings. So th the pretty nice fans. I believe this is also ball bearing the evaporator. So they should last longer than five years. And they're still working of course, but uh, the, the, the whole unit doesn't work. Okay, so I hope you got something out of it. Uh, perhaps you have the same problem. Anyway, hope you like, perhaps subscribe, consider at least. Maybe you have some schematics, you can post it on the end. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.